Hello guys, today I would like to show you a little project that I was doing uh, over a half year ago and that was a cheap alternative to the signaling adapter and that was uh, just a prototype and because that was working of course it was left like that for uh, over a half year and right now we've got a, a signaling, the genuine, so I can pull it out and I can show you what's inside. So the goal was to make a device that will allow you to use the sound car as a modem that you can use for the, for the, for example, for the sound modem on the Linux or the WinWar on the computer. And that's the effect. The idea was that we would like to have just a one cable to be easy installed by anyone. So we have one USB computer plug and the one plug that you fit to your radio. In that case, that was a UHF or the VHF radio based on the Baofeng. So the goal was set. And that's what we make. So as you can see, we've got an aluminum case, we've got uh, two LEDs, one for the power and the second one red for the PTT. We use the cheap China microphone, which was by a couple of this microphone and we cut the, the plug, the microphone, and we've got a nice cable. The, the quality is terrible, but it's working. And on the on the connector, we decide to use the military type plug. This is not like a good quality, but it's done very well purpose. And as you can see, it have many pins, so you can do a jumping inside of the pin. So on the signal link, you were doing the jumping inside your your signaling over here you can do any cross wiring inside the plug so you can have a different radio and you just replace the the plug and make it working for for different radios and we just to keep it looking the same we also use a four pin plug for the for the usb cable and of course the second one look exactly the same. So let's open this and I will show you what's inside. Because the goal was to make it extremely cheap. So we do not have any high quality components. We were not looking for anything fancy. Just stuff that you can easily buy off the shelf. And you can make that kind of device extremely cheap if you don't count the enclosure on the or the cables because that's thing that you might not want to use, not want to pay. I believe you can make it under ten dollars. So let's open this. Just like I said, keep in mind that was a prototype. This is not a finished unit, but because it was working, there was no need to do any any upgrade. And it was left in the way that you would go and, okay, that's the prototype, you have to improve it later, but it's working, so you left it running and then realized that Ta -da. And that's how it looks like. <clears throat> yes, that's looking terrible. And yes, you have full right to say and judge that it's a crappy, crappy job. Yes, that's true. But it was make, made to be cheap. And it was supposed to make a PCB with a transformer on board and place to solder the the sound card but as i said it stopped working 
and there was no time to to pull it off the service and make a replacement so let's take a look step by step I can decommission that so the goal was the goal was to have just one the USB plug and to drive the the PTT signal out of the serial port the signal link was using the like a Vox so it was have built in Vox circuitry so depending on the input audio level you were triggering the the you were triggering the <coughs> PTT and that have a couple of problems because you have to quite high signal at the input and if you not drive a high signal on the input the PTT won't be triggered and over here I can trigger the PTT while not having any signal going out so I can first trigger the PTT wait a couple of seconds and then start a signal that we would like to transmit so over here you, you don't need uh, audio signal to start the PTT. That's the main difference and that's why we decided to go for the for that idea. So we would like to have a serial adapter and we would like to have a USB sound card. So that two device you cannot use by one plug because of the how USB is working and you need a USB hub. So we buy an extremely cheap USB hub. This is the board for the extremely cheap USB hub. Very terrible, low speed, but it was doing the purpose, as you can see. That was the funny, funny USB hub that have like four cables on the both sides and the plugs for the for the USB. So that was like like crappy, crappy cheap China under two dollars we remove the case we cut all the cables and we just use two port of this usb hub one of the usb hub is going to the sound card also a very cheap generic dongle alike looking sound card it was cost like one dollar it's a terrible sound card in terms of the signal quality noise and all of that but for one dollar you can't go wrong and over here we've got a extremely cheap USB to serial adapter and that was a built-in serial cable that have a DB9 plug on one end and on the other end if have the USB plug so I unsoldered the DB9 plug and just solder the four pins for the USB and I believe that was a data transmission ready pin use for triggering the LED and for triggering the PTT so the I don't want to say because I really don't remember I think that was a DTR line you have to check in manual how the, the PTT was used to trigger by the serial adapter and one of the the DTR line is going to the that cheap Chinese relay module that was like a very very cheap Chinese module I believe it was under two dollars so I just feed the DTR directly to the the signal port on this module second one is 5 volt power still from the USB and over here from the coil from the relay I've got wires going to the diode for the PTT so when there is coil energized we've got a indication on the PTT so the transmission started so yes that's how it looks like I'm going to unfold one of these I was using the self-fusing tape because on the way I might use it for something else and as I say we've got a proper signal link adapter because the goal was we were making that because not having enough money to buy a, a signal link because signal link is quite expensive and it's not expensive because of the component 
but because of that it's not that popular there is not a very very large market on that so the price is quite quite high and there is no room for the for the competition so you can make device like that in your home just like I told you under under ten dollars and make it working and be and be happy and if someone don't want to to make it then you can just go for the for the signaling so there is not not room for for other companies for making this cheaper on a very small target market that's what I think okay just let me as you can see that was a very very dirty blob cheap serial adapter let cut me a little bit I as you can see that self-using tape is extremely good for things like that I believe there will be a resistor I think I add a resistor just to prevent the the adapter in case of failure okay please stay with me just one second I don't want to uh, I've got a diode because I was using uh, I was using two two pins and they have like on one software was the DTR and on the other was like ready to send something like that so I, I connect that over here that was soldered directly at the B9 plug so I just grab that pins as you can see they are in the forward and I grab the, the signal from them to our just straight feed to the 5 volt relay module because all of that stuff is powered from the 5 volt of the computer so so there is no problem and the sound card cheap shiny sound card connected please focus to the USB hub and we've got our output and input. I don't know which side. The input should be, of course, using shielded cable. But as I told you, that was just to make a proof of concept. But it ended like that. Hopefully, the, the case was shielding. So we've got our input output. I don't remember which side was, was which. Sorry. So we've got a 60, 600 to 600 isolation transformer. So we've got a galvanic isolation from the radio. And the relay is, of course, adding a isolation. So we've got our radio 100% isolated. There is absolutely nothing, nothing else that can go wrong. Some circuitry are using the for the PTT uh, transistor but I don't want to have like a conflict of the grounding or anything like that so we've got an isolated PTT which is just a switch and we've got isolation over here on the output and on the input so 600 to 600 ohm isolating transformer as you can see on one of the transformer I've got a trimming pot just to adjust the levels and you were making the adjustment on the computer just by shifting the volume output or, or volume input that was just to set the maximum voltage so when it's set to max it's not going to blow your radio so that's like the safety and you can on the computer make the adjustment so that's how it looks like basically and as you can see it's a terrible job i'm not proud of that i'm not going to show you that hi guys take a look what 
a beautiful thing I've job. No, 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 that's that's a terrible, uh, that's a sad job. But as I said, that was made under uh, a ten dollar. If you exclude the the case, because you don't need that case, you don't need to have that fancy fancy plug that you can replace exchange. So yes, you can make very cheap but working a uh, signal link alternative to to start a digital transmission out of your radio and computer by having just one USB plug and your radio being fully isolated. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.